And in three, two, one, I got with me here Chris Cantelmo. Good to be here. He was diagnosed with brain cancer and he potentially has the cure for it. Today I'm here to talk with him about it. Yes. Uh, again, my name is Chris Cantelmo. I'm a 56 year old uh, male. Uh, I have a, I'm a biochemist. I have a degree in molecular biophysics and biochemistry from Yale. And I've spent the past 35 years professionally in the pharmaceutical and biotech world, helping pharmaceutical companies and biotech companies purify their uh, medications, their drugs. And so what brought you to DMT? What was the journey? Well, the, my original interaction with DMT was really as a, uh, I, I was curious about it because I had, I had heard about its psychedelic properties. It's, uh, it's known to be a very powerful, short acting, and when I say short acting, I mean about two minutes, 120 seconds, uh, psychedelic experience. If you, if you vaporize the, uh, it comes in, in a, a, basically a, a crystal form. And if you, uh, with a vape pipe or some type of a other type of pipe, if you vaporize the crystals and inhale them, you, uh, you have what's, what's typically called a psychedelic experience for a couple minutes. What I didn't realize about the, the, uh, this chemical is that it's a uh, naturally occurring substance, and, 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 and that's called endogenous in the scientific world. So DMT is the endogenous, the naturally occurring neurotransmitter that's in our brains when we're children. And it's, it's uh, in high levels in our brains until we hit puberty, roughly, and enter adulthood. And then the DMT production stops. Uh, so, and so, so the first time I, I experienced DMT, when I inhaled it, I realized I, you, 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 you enter a, a state of being where you realize this is what my childhood was like. This, this is what it was like to be a, a child. And, uh, you see, uh, I'm going to call them, uh, uh, spirits. Um, anyone who has children and anyone who's been a child knows that when you're little, you see little creatures in, in your bedroom. And uh, when your parents come into the room, they, they hide under the bed or they run into the closet. And then you, you tell your parents, oh, there's, I saw some, you know, there's a, there's a little elf or whatever in the closet. And then your parents look at you and say, oh, you know, that's not true. But there, it really was true. There was an elf. And it's just that only kids can see them because they have DMT in their brains. So anyway, uh, shortly after interacting with DMT, I started to uh, post about it online, trying to figure out exactly what was going on, what, what was the mechanism for how this DMT works in the brain. And some very uh, um, enterprising and observant scientists from, from uh, other countries, Mexico and China primarily, looked at what I was saying about my use of DMT. And they, they had a, a notion that DMT could be used to treat certain ailments, one of which was cancer, another is Parkinson's disease. And they contacted me after they had, by a, a very strange sequence of events, gotten wind of the fact that I had brain cancer. And they said, we're interested in the fact that you're using DMT and that you have brain cancer. We want to monitor this and see what happens to your cancer. And so over the course of about a year, my brain cancer has disappeared. So my latest uh, scan showed no evidence of any cancer or tumors. And so my message to you is regardless of what type of cancer you have and what stage the cancer might be at, you should seek out this compound. It's very inexpensive to obtain. If, if anyone lives close to Los Angeles, you're welcome to come to my house and experience it at no charge, perfectly, absolutely free. Uh, the, something, something very important to understand about what I'm saying and about this, this chemical. I have no 
I will, I will have no, I have no monetary interest in this solution, in this, in this chemical. No one's paying for me to be here. I'm paying for all this production myself out of my own personal funds. I will never, I've never bought DMT. I've never sold DMT. I've only uh, gotten a hold of the root bark from a tree called Mimosa hostilis. And basically in my garage, using my uh, understanding of organic chemistry and biochemistry that I learned at Yale, isolated and purified this material. And I have uh, people coming over to my place on a regular basis, suffering from cancer and other ailments, and uh, experiencing this and going on their way and, and having their life transformed. So again, we have here what appears to be a cure for cancer that is essentially free to you at this point and into the future. It can be obtained very inexpensively. And if it doesn't cure your cancer, you will immediately recognize it after taking it as the very best thing that's ever happened to your life since you got cancer. And this is going to sound very strange to say, but DMT will make your cancer a beautiful thing. Right now it's, a, it's an ugly, sad, scary thing. And DMT will make it beautiful for you and your family. And I think that's an, that's an important thing to do. And so a lot of people are probably coming out, why did you pay for this? Why, why are you promoting this if you have no vested interest? Everyone wants to, everyone believes everyone has an angle. Sure, and that's a perfectly reasonable question. Like what's in it for me? When, when I, I looked out and I stumbled upon this, this stuff and it's just changed, completely changed my life. My life went from being basically, uh, I was ready to end it to now I, I can't get enough of it. And once you know something like this, you have to talk about it. You have to tell people there are people right now suffering like the worst type of pain and fear with their cancer. So what am I going to do? Sit around and not talk about it? And then I, I called around. I called around to local news stations, to national news stations. I called the FBI. I tried. I'm just uh, just trying to get attention from the, from the, the national media. And it's a very difficult thing to do. So... Uh, I discovered some online avenues, YouTube, reddit.com, and I, I decided to just use my own money and, and uh, finance this production of, of videos like this. And uh, with your help and, and, and your help by spreading the word, hopefully the word can get out and people can, can uh, stop suffering from cancer. And so what would be your call to action? What do you want people watching this video? Say if they have a family member with cancer, if they have cancer, okay. or if they just have some, some sort of influence. The, what you should do if you have cancer, you should, you can go online at, uh, at YouTube and if you search DMT, NN, N comma, N dash dimethyltryptamine, you can see lots of videos about it. A lot of, and uh, so, so the DMT can be administered as a vapor by inhalation, or you may have heard of a brew down in the Amazon called ayahuasca, and that's A-Y-A-H-U- a SCA, I think. Um, you'll have to check me on that. Yeah. And uh, so what you want to do is you want to is, is go online and in the course of a couple of hours, you can watch lots of videos and get really good information about this. And then you should call your doctor and ask your doctor about it. And he won't know anything about it, but it'll get him interested and say, and tell him, go, please go watch this video and, you know, give him a link to, to this video and, and let them study up on DMT. Talk to your friends about it. Talk to your kids. Your kids, you know, will probably hear about it before you because they watch a lot of YouTube and stuff. Uh, so really just start asking about it. And, and here, here's a really important thing to know. My career, and it's, it's been a very successful career, uh, has been in the pharmaceutical industry, helping pharmaceutical companies purify drugs. It's very clear to me that the pharmaceutical companies know about the amazing properties of dimethyltryptamine because this compound's been around since the 1950s, very well studied by chemists. But because it can't be patented and sold by companies, they don't pursue it. 
what they do is they, they, they take DMT and they modify it chemically because then they can patent that product and try to sell it. But it doesn't work if you modify it. You have to use uh, DMT in its original format, a form. So uh, pharmaceutical companies have the capacity to produce, to synthetically produce endless quantities of this for very little money, almost nothing. And so you should start asking your doctor and, and your doctor can ask the pharmaceutical sales reps, when are we gonna be able to get dimethyltryptamine for, for my patients? And they should be insistent because the companies can do this literally in a, in a month, there could be a virtually endless supply of the stuff in the United States. So just start demanding to get what you deserve. And, and uh, so that, that's the place to start. And for people who do it yourself at home, mm -hmm. um, it kind of seems like a, like a, oh my gosh, how am I gonna isolate this myself? But it really can be as easy as pretty much baking brownies. Um, Absolutely. All the ingredients are perfectly legal to buy. Mm -hmm. And the technique to make it, you look up Gordo Tech. It's a 20 minute video that shows you exactly how to take the root bark and turn it into pure isolated DMT. Um, and yeah, that'll give you all the ingredients, everything. Yes. So yeah. I encourage people, aside from promoting it to their, to their primary care physicians and friends and family, to also make it yourself. Because if you don't have enough time yes. for action to be taken federally, you should take, take life into your own hands. Absolutely. And again, all this video information can be obtained for free online. The, I ordered the Mimosa Hostilis root bark from a company called Waking Herbs. And I did from Chill Hawaiian. There's many. Yeah, so Waking... And we have no interest, no, no, no I'm, in we're not associated with them at all. Or the YouTube videos or anything. Right, so th this was wakingherbs.com. And I think you can get 900 grams of the root bark for... I don't know, a few hundred dollars. And that's and enough for your that's whole enough life for a whole, and your, your friend's whole life. whole life. You can share it with all those around you. Yeah. And it's very easy to uh, purify. Uh, and I'll, you can you can call me. I'll help you uh, through the steps. But there are very good videos online that you can watch over and over. And uh, the there are no... Uh, well, you know what? I, I should mention one thing. There's some evidence that administration of DMT causes a slight increase in heart rate and blood pressure. So no anyone, more than exercise. No more than exercise or, or a like, sauna or, or a hot day. Or basically standing up from Sex. a sitting position. <laughs> Anything, yeah. The, all those things increase your heart rate and your, and your blood pressure or change your blood pressure. So, uh, but it's just something to be, to be aware of. Ask yourself, what kind of side effects do your current cancer medications have on you? I mean, chemotherapy is sort of a, not a very pleasant uh, experience. Radiation, we don't even need to discuss. And uh, the DMT experience is the most beautiful thing that will ever happen to you. So if that's not a call to action, I don't know what is. Beautiful. Thank you very much for your time. Good to be here. Thanks for having me.